Well, Maxie, we're ready for the off again. Uh, you're travelling down to Mayo at the weekend. Just looking at your fixture list, I think you've got three of the first four away. So, pretty daunting prospect for the first number of matches anyway. Ah, it is, and look, the way the fixtures fell for us, uh, it hasn't been very kind. Is it with four away and, uh, and three at home, and the three home are against the three big ones, Dublin, Cork and Galway. Um, so, the, the games that you were you know, targeting to get the couple of points out of are all away. So, look, that adds at, uh, the difficulty of the whole thing. But look, it is what it is. Last year we had four home and, and three away, so it, look, it swings in roundabouts. And look, it's just great to get started. Everybody's you know, edgy to get going here. You brought in a lot of young players last year. Did well for you. What's, what's the situation in terms of squad at this early stage of the season? I well look we've we've done the same again you know we're we're probably down a couple of bodies again on on, on last year and we've brought on a couple of new ones like say, Annie Logue from Glenfinn and Cathy Ward Glenfinn and Caroline Sharkey from Nevora um people like that are coming Nicole Gordon have come back in she uh, she uh, got injured started last year and had to step away so look we're glad to have her back and Denise McElhaney has returned to, to the fold as a as another goalkeeper so look there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of new blood there again um it seems to be the way in ladies football there just seems to be a big turnover of players all the time and every county seems to be the same so we're no different than anybody else or no worse off than anybody else and um, look last year proved I think to everybody that the, 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 the young players can do it and the new players can do it it's just a matter of believing themselves and going you know, having a real cut look you know this week last year we were facing on that Thrupter Crow Park and nobody knew what was coming down the line and geez the girls give the performance of a lifetime and um, and it was the it really was the basis in which you know, our season was built after that we got such you know, belief out of it and look we go to Mayo with no fear don't care who we have or who we don't have and um, you know we, we have players that's good enough to go and win the game and, and, and the week after that against Waterford as well so uh, look we're not um, looking at people being away or anything like that we have what we have and we're very happy with what we have and look we're just really looking forward to getting going Yeah as you say that was a real kick start against Dublin and they carried that right through the league and then into the Ulster Championship as well to, to win that so impressively Maxie I suppose the only disappointment then was, was the Championship knockout stages that game against Tyrone was a key game and just didn't get over the line yeah, that was luck. That was that was our undoing. You know, I know we lost to me over the week after, but look, it was the drone game that 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 done the damage. And look, we had a there were an awful lot of positives throughout the year earlier on, and we, we built as the year went. But look, you have to be able to perform when the big days come, and it's all about championship. Nobody really gives a hoot about league when championship comes around. And look, that's um that's something that still probably sticks in our craw. You know, the way we we really underperformed in the championship, and that's probably the reason so many people are back. You know, to try and you know to to put that right because uh, we just we just didn't do ourselves justice. And look, you don't mind getting beat um, by a better team or losing by a point or two you know in a, in a tight encounter but um, you know the previous year we lost to Cork and all our semi-final um, but last year look we just we just didn't do ourselves justice and we felt we let ourselves down and um, we feel that we have to go back at it and, and, and try and look when you go out you just want to go out in a high and you want to go out giving your best and performing to your best and we didn't do that last year and look that's something we've got to look at as to why that happened And uh, but for luck for now it's uh, it's about building again and trying to get back to that stage and trying to you know develop another couple of players you know um, this time last year the likes of Eve Carr and that hadn't played a lot of football for Donegal and you know she came out of nowhere and had a brilliant season we know probably you know a strong contender for player of the year for us and uh, she got the seven games in the league and you know and really grew and developed from that and, and that's what you're looking for from the players that come in you know to put their best foot forward the opportunities come for people in different times and different ways and um, for now there's an opportunity for younger girls to step up and they're going to get you know they're going to get action and actually they're going to play games a lot of them are going to play six and seven matches and it's, a, it's great for them it's a good opportunity and it's great for us to give them the chance to, to develop so it's, look, it's, uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and plenty for you to say to them in relation to how well things went and then how things fell flat. That's a good learning curve for young players because if it goes, if everything goes well all the time, they think it's easy at their county level and we know very well that it's not. No, and I think, uh, you know, that's twice now we won the last three Ulster Championships, but in, in my two years in 18 and 19, you know, people went out of the Ulster Championship, you know, getting clapped on the back and everybody telling them how wonderful they were and how great they were and what a great team they were and you know and uh, and you know that um as I say the, the pat on the back's only a foot from the kick somewhere else. So um you know we definitely got that in a short space of time last year and I think it, it was a rude awakening for us and uh, it'll definitely stand to the to players and you know that um look you're only as good as your last game is to say and um uh, 
while things go well for, for certain stages, you've just got to keep your feet in the ground, you've got to keep building. And, you know, I think we probably got a bit carried away last year, you know, um, after Ulster final, and people seem to be very complimentary, you know, to, to, to lady footballers in general. That, you know, everything's great and wonderful and grandiose, and uh, even when you get beat, it's hard luck, you know. Um, and sometimes it's just not hard luck, you know, you just don't do enough, and I think that's where we were, you know. We've no one to blame but ourselves, we left behind us, we, we messed it up, and, you know, it's, I mean, we've got to put it right and um, get back on the horse again this year, dot yourself down, and, and just go at it harder than ever. And look, I still believe in the script players. I still believe with the players to go and win all Ireland. I don't, you know, me no bones about it. And um, and uh, you know, if we can get our house in order and maybe steer it a wee bit differently than we did last summer and um, arise championship in a different frame of mind, I think uh, look, we still have a serious say in what will go on at the end of the summer. Yeah. The championship will be the big one. But if I said to you now, in terms of the league campaign, would a semi-final spot satisfy you? Um, Ah, look, it would. Uh, look, it's actually even changed the structure this year a wee bit, and that they've they've trying to take it, m- matches. Um Taking away match, there's no actually there's no semi final, so it's just a straight, uh, just a straight final, one and two qualify the final, and and the bottom team is relegated. But look, the the it'd be it's great to stay in Division One. That's always the the main objective. But for us, the most important thing is trying to develop um a couple of those younger players, trying to work on the things that let us down last year. Look, you know the thing that they kick out, you know we're ultimately you know we're are, are failing against Mayo, and we've got to get better at that. When team puts us under pressure, we have to be able to deal with that. We've got to be stronger mentally and um and 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 and, and deal with the, the setbacks when the you know, that's one thing we didn't do last year, and you know we're aware of that, and we need to try and you know fix that. Our conversion rate against Tyrone was was what beat us that day. You know, we had 16 shots to goals, and we scored four of them. Um, had we scored four of them, we would have got over the line. So yeah. um, things like that, you know, are are are, are, the, are the learning curves, and that's what you got to look at, and, and ways of making your team better collectively and individually. Um, but look, I say the, the league, the league is a great vehicle for for for. for, for Exposing people, you know, being in Division One is great for the girls. Like, you know, to even to play the likes of Galway, Cork, and Dublin, you know, at home is brilliant for the girls. Five qualifier games and potentially four games in Ulster, so we're going to be playing football every day, of the, yeah. every week of the year. So, um, it's, it's good to get games now this time of year and get people ready. Yeah, playing those big teams is a big bonus, isn't it? Massive. It's it's great for the younger girls. Like the belief that the, the younger girls got out of the Dublin game last year, and look, I know what it's played in Crow Park as well. It was, geez, it was, you know, it was built as a massive game for us for the first game in the league, and uh, it was great. You know, just people came down the road 10 foot tall and you know and we carried that through the games you know we we give a stellar performance in letter kenny against mona you know a week or two after that and um look what really just really stood to us and, and we grew from there on and um we uh we're, we're hoping to get something similar